everyone, welcome back. I'm Bianca, thank you so much for stopping by today. I have some Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs to show y'all. These DIYs are gonna be more on the farmhouse rustic side. So I just did a poll recently and asked y'all what kind of Christmas DIYs y'all wanted to see. And I got more votes for a farmhouse type video. So I know it is still kind of early, but they just started putting Christmas stuff out at my Dollar Trees and it's so much easier to get the stuff now than wait and then everything's always gone. So I hope y'all enjoy these DIYs and let's get into the video. I'm gonna start off with three of these blocks from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna take my antique wax and give them one good coat. Since these DIYs are more on the farmhouse rustic side, I decided to use the wax. It is coming off a little bit dark, but what you can do is add a little bit of water, which I usually do, but I didn't this time because I knew I was going to sand it down. So I got two of them down. I'm just finishing up the last one. Now that they're dry, what I'm going to do is spell out joy. So I just pulled it up on my phone and just freehanded it with a pencil and then I will paint it in with some white chalk paint. You can use whatever paint you want. Apple barrel paints work really good too. Um, I like to get the matte ones from Walmart. There's so many options. You can leave it blank. You can put different wording on here. It's totally up to you. This is the chalk paint I'm going to be using. The good thing about the Waverly paints is that the paint is so thick. That's why you only, normally most of the time, you only need one coat. So that's what I did. I just did one coat um, because remember I'm going to be sanding it down. So I just have some gloves right here and I'm going to paint in the letters that spell out joy. Dollar Tree has different packs of paint brushes. Even if you don't have the Crafter Square, they do have um, a pack of like real skinny brushes like this. This one is specifically from Dollar Tree. It came with like five, I think like four or five different little brushes. That way you can be more precise if you do make something like this. Before sanding them down, I'm showing the little miniature Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use three of them on the top of the blocks. So this is how the J came out and now I'm just going to sand it down. I will also be sanding down the front of it. So that's why I wasn't so OCD about doing the letters perfectly because I wanted it to look rustic. This is how they look once they're all sanded down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue the little miniature Christmas trees on top. I am using this base filler as ornaments on the little Christmas trees. I'm only going to use the red ones. They had different colors at Dollar Tree, but I wanted to use red because I really like using the traditional colors. So I'm just going to hot glue them all over the little trees. Anybody can make this DIY no matter what style you're going for. For Christmas, if you want more of glam, you can change the little ornaments on there. If you like more traditional colors, you can change the paint color on the blocks. For this next one, I'm creating sort of a swag. Christmas swag. You can use this on a wreath 
or on an upside down Christmas tree from Dollar Tree. I'm starting off with this Dollar Tree wooden star and I'm gonna stain it with my antique wax. You might notice that the wax is coming off lighter. That's because my brush is wet, so. I have some Dollar Tree picks right here. I really like the way these look. I think the red stands out a lot. So off to the side, you see other Dollar Tree stems as well, and I'll show you those in a minute. So I'm gonna start off with these two, and I'm going to hot glue the star on to the bottom where the stems are. I'm gonna make a couple of bows. First, I'm gonna use this red buffalo check one. It's from the fall line at Dollar Tree. So I'm starting off like this, and then you'll see me bring the top toward the center. And once I have it this way, all I have to do is pinch the top and bottom toward the middle, and then I can tie it off. This bow is really, really simple to make. Like I always say when I'm making bows, it's easier to use a pipe cleaner, but a lot of times I don't have any, so I just grab twine or you know whatever kind of string I have and just wrap it in the center and make a couple of knots, cut off the excess. I'm gonna do the same thing with this burlap ribbon. I'm gonna make the same exact bow and that way I can glue it to the top of the red and cream one. This ribbon, they always, or normally when I see they usually have it at Dollar Tree all year round. But as long as you're around, will be okay. So I'm going to add it to the top of that with hot glue and wrap more of the twine around that. So it's going to go behind the star, but what I'm going to do first is cut a diagonal of the ribbon at the bottom. So you just fold it in half and then cut. These berries are all from Dollar Tree that I'm going to add right here. The red sparkly ones that I have, these were from last year. I'm not sure if they're going to have them out this year. I didn't see them yet, but I know they're still putting more Christmas decor out. So I'm just gonna be adding different things all around here and the white berries I just picked up today. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some of the white berries on here and you'll see me add more greenery all around. I really love that look of certain pigs for Christmas that have that drop of snow all over it. So what I'm gonna do is add touches of white paint all on top of this. Um, of course, this is all optional. You don't have to do that. I just really love that look. So this is something that could be hung up on your front door or any door in your house on a hook like this on each side of your mantle you know your fireplace or on top of a christmas tree you know there's so many ways to decorate with something like this for this last diy i have these three dollar tree chalkboard signs it's outlined in wood so you guessed it right i'm gonna use my wax to stain the wood area on the outside of the chalkboard. Right here I have a cup of water. 
Um, I'm going to just be dipping it be because I really like the lighter look of the wax. I'm using a paper towel to wipe off the excess amount of wax that's on here. And as you can see when I did that, it just gives it that really pretty color. I used my Cricut to cut out some words that say sleigh bells ring. So I'm going to add each word onto each sign. There are a bunch of options you can do. You can use actual chalk to write something that you want on here. Um, there are stencils you can use with paint. And there are lots of sticker letters at Dollar Tree and also rub on transfers. All right, I'm taking the rest of that buffalo check ribbon and combining it with this creamy beige ribbon that I bought last year at, I believe, Hobby Lobby. I'm just cutting off the little wire that is on the ends of this ribbon. They're both wired ribbon. I'm gonna combine both of them. I'm gonna lay one on top of the other and I'm gonna go about arm's length and fold it. Once I do that, I'll just keep folding it until I am at the end of the ribbon. Then I'm going to fold this in half just to give me a crease of where the middle is at. Once I do that, I'm gonna take my scissors and cut on each side, not all the way through. You're gonna leave about half an inch connected in the center and that's just gonna help us tie off the middle and then we're gonna separate all of the loops and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. We're gonna tie off in the center like I do all of my bows and then we'll cut off the excess. It's real simple now, we're just gonna form the loops and then I have about four tails and I'll do the same thing I did earlier and just fold it in half and cut at a diagonal to give it a V-shaped end. So the bow is going to go at the top. I am going to take this ribbon. You can take any kind of ribbon you want. This is ribbon from last year as well. And I think it was from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to just tie it around the center of the bow, create a knot. And then once I do that, I will connect all three signs to the ribbon. I took some pieces of wood, you can use crab sticks, and just for a better and more secure hold, I'm adding it on top of the ribbon and back of the signs. As you can see, at the bottom of the last sign, I left a little tail of that ribbon and just cut the bottom of that in a V cut. If the little holes in the signs bother you, you can always use twine in there to hang them like how they were when I bought them or you can add more bows or ribbon you know it's up to you it didn't really bug me but if it does you can cover it thank you for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed these Dollar Tree farmhouse Christmas DIYs let me know which one was your favorite 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will try my best to answer as fast as possible. I hope you have a great Wednesday and I will see y'all in the next one.